what is going on guys Izzy here from high society gaming to bring you a quick minecraft video i'm just going to be showing you guys really the first major project i ever started in minecraft this is my first ever castle i'm not really you know a good builder so take that into consideration this is my first huge project so if there's a lot if there's things you see uh, that all you hardcore Minecraft players notice that are obviously scrubbish or noobish to put into terms. Uh, this is my first project, um, so I don't, I'm not really familiar with that, how to do a lot of stuff. You know, there's, I know there's a lot of tricks you can do in this game. I'm not too familiar with them, so you know, please take that into consideration and uh, give me your feedback on what you think of this when you, as you're watching, on really what you're gonna like on a noob a noobish scale what you think for you know a first time project so anyways let's get started uh as you can see that's the entrance right when you walk in i have eyes plastered all around for it for izzy uh but right here to the left as you see is just this giant wooden building but really what this is is a uh it's an arena that's what i would refer to it as it's what uh, I come in here with a lot of my friends and we just, you know, screw around and fight each other. So I tried to make, it's it's three stories tall. It has a, you know, some fuck. I don't know where all these animals come from. It has like a couple underground passages. I'm not going to run around all those too much, but uh, let's come back out here. It's three stories tall. I tried to make it as, as a map, you know, as best as I could for maneuverability. I tried to put as many different ways to get out of situations you know kind of just like a regular map as if you were going into a you know the battle so i tried to make it as very open and so you can't really get cornered Let's see right up here is the second floor we'll come up here i'm not going to stay in here too long because it's it's a pretty big castle i don't want to get too into detail but so we'll head back out head down here you know it's a nuisance to get out of here sometimes Alrighty. Let's go out here, right to the front of the castle. This is, I guess, what I'd call like the main entrance to the castle. I, I know this is pink and magenta. Uh, when I started building this, my girlfriend ref preferred me to do that color, so I did that for her. That's why it's pink and magenta. I wanted red, but you can't always get what you want when you have a woman. Over here, where I just went directly to the right, is what I call like a coaster. It's kind of like a little mini roller coaster. Now I have looked up videos on coasters before in Minecraft and mine doesn't even compare to the ones that I've seen. It's, it's really just to ride and to ride it around to look at just the massive scale of the castle. When I started this originally it was only 40 blocks long but for a first time thing this is the first time i had actually had minecraft and i've seen what people could do so i tried to go on a massive scale so i made it 126 blocks long little did i know that filling in a wall from each direction in that length would take as long as it did probably took me about three days to get that wall just done then doing the ceiling i came across an issue that I must have miscounted so the side is not 126 long I think it's I think it's 126 probably by I think I'm guessing 90 I guess I'm I was just tired when I built it so I screwed that up but I got the roof done eventually it took me four hours if I remember correctly but now back down to the main entrance of the castle uh, if you look up at the ceiling and the ground all the designs match up directly I just did this, tr something to be cool for my friends to look at and be like, oh, that's, pr you know, that's nice. Over to the left, right here is a garden. It's just a small one. But we'll finish the outside tour with this Colosseum right here. This is a, uh, my, I guess, version of like a, you know, a Greek Colosseum where my friends will come, you know, and face off one on one. As when I was coming up, if you saw that iron door that was right there, when someone enters, they can't leave until this switch is flipped it opens up that side of the door same with directly on the opposite side flip the switch and the door opens but eh, I came through here before I started to make this video I touched up a couple things 
so I didn't look too bad in the Minecraft community because I know this a lot of the stuff I I'm doing is newbish. I mean I not the I'm not like a pro builder. I mean I just go in and have fun with it. I mean I think that's what Minecraft is really about. But yeah, so that's my version of I guess I'd call the Greek Coliseum. Now we'll head inside the castle, like so I can just show you the layout of of how I have each floor. Now this is right directly you walk in you'll see it's just a bunch of halls and paintings and torches to light everything up. But I'll just show you some minor stuff right here in the on the far right side of the castle. This is just a library. It's literally, you know, just a big room with bookshelves everywhere. When we come down here, you can if you know, you'll notice looking up you'll see the second floor and what that is right there is a maze. The entire second floor is a maze, but we'll get to that in a, in a couple minutes here cuz I'm I'm we're going to show you this right here this i tried to make i guess like a tombstone like a tomb i guess you know try to make it look all fancy but it's really not a tomb if you come down here you think you get stuck but i know a lot all minecraft players don't know how to do that you know the hidden door so if you go through the painting you get to this tower here i'm just gonna i don't feel like wasting time to uh climb the stairs so we'll just go up the uh creative way this takes you to the, when you get to the top of the tower. I don't know if you guys noticed when we were on the outside, when, right when you came in through the front right there. This tower that was off to the far right. What what this is is I call it the viewing tower. It's just really I come up here and uh, screw. I'm not even going to uh, climb it. You just climb right there, jump up each one, it brings you to the top here, where it's just, just really just to look around. Cause I like I think it's cool because you get to see how massive the castle really is just how big it really is and you can also see the outer wall the outer wall better that took a long time but we're not going to go inside those for this this video because it really they're hollow and there's just a train rail that leads from each tower to the next so basically it's just a train that goes completely around in a circle or in this case a square so we're going to go back into the castle now we're going to come through the front door it's really the only way to wait to, to get back and when we're back in here we're going to go to the far back the far end as you can see the photo with the bow so if you can already assume this is my version of an archery range i did this because i just thought it was something cool to do so i it took me this was my first massive redstone my first redstone like encounter where I was trying to figure out how to work it all. I got it all to work here as you can see. This is, I guess I call it the circuit room where it, all the trouble began. I'll fix that up later but you stand on here and more targets pop out. It's three levels. You can come to the lower level, the second, and then here's the third. I'm not going to show you because they're, they're all the same thing. They just have the pressure, the pressure plates with the redstone. That ex that shoot out all those extra sponges to shoot out. Now we'll come over to the ice rink. I, I almost completely forgot about this. I don't really come here too often. This is my version of an ice skating rink. Uh, I just did it for looks. I mean, I don't really, I hardly ever come in this room. But here's the staircase. We'll, we're on ground level. You saw right here is the if you read the maze, the f and the fighting dojo. This would I guess was what I consider the first floor that's ground level anyways here's the maze that you saw a couple minutes ago it's the entire second floor it took me actually a couple hours to do which I was surprised I didn't think it'd take as long as it did I'm not going to show you guys how to get through so I'm just going to fly over if any of my friends want to come in and attempt it they can I don't think I knew no I take the back I have had one person complete it now here we are this is what I call the fighting dojo just another it's like that giant wooden b building you saw outside it's just like another f place me and my friends will come to the battle it out this is i think three stories if i believe there's another staircase here here it is so here we are at the very bottom just it's really not that big i mean you can't even jump on the second floor but we'll head on out of here and we'll head to the t no no, no, yeah, we'll go to the second floor. I'll do this area last. That's what I was just debating a couple seconds ago. And here's just a mess hall right here, the health center. 
each box would obviously have food and stuff. Stuff to heal you when you're playing. Playing the game. Even though I don't really ever play on anything but uh, peaceful. Alright, so we're at the top floor. This is my room. I'll go in there in a second. This is just a another, I guess you'd call, viewing room. I have a hidden switch to go across the lava. I was trying to figure out some way to make the redstone work better. Because right here is an issue I ran into. Is when that switch is flipped, all the glass, as you see, comes and makes a walkway. Well, I have this switch is also connected to all that redstone. When I flip it, it doesn't... Bridge doesn't go away. I don't know why, but I'll work with all that later because I, like I said, this is my first big project in Minecraft. It's the first thing I really ever did. So it kind of, I kind of got stumped in a couple places and I looked up a couple tutorials, but it's, I still couldn't figure it out. But I'll get better. So right in here, this is my room. I tried to make it look all fancy and stuff. The build, the roof and everything lines up at the ground right here. It's just gold and diamond and glass. Waterfall. My this is everyone's favorite favorite part of the castle when they come in and see it. I think it's cool too. It's my favorite room. I, <coughs> ooh, voice crack right there. That's my favorite room. I just think it looks cool. And it leads directly to my uh, bedroom. I have a hit, little hidden room right here. I call it the armory. I just keep gold and diamond and weapons and stuff right there. All the best ones. Then when my friends go in there, I tell them about it and lock them in. Just to be an asshole. And I take off the privileges so they can't get out unless they leave. They don't, they don't take too kindly of that. Now this is my room. I know it's real bland. Because I really wasn't... I was just making a room because my friends were like, Oh, where's your room at? You have a big castle. You should have a room. So I just threw together a quick room because I mean I'm never I rarely hardly play on this level unless I'm building it. I just like to build things and then move on to the next. This isn't done yet. The castle isn't done because I still have have things to do on the inside of here. I have a lot more to do with that. I'm trying to figure out a way to change it around, but we'll get uh, uh maybe I'll put up a video of it depending on if you guys like this or not. I'll put up a video of the final final version of the castle because I still have a lot more stuff I plan on doing which also involves building some roads out here and some houses to try and make it like a giant kingdom but I have neglected to attempt that because uh, you know how long I know how long it took me to build this castle and doing that would just probably take so much more time right here is just how I'd get off the viewing, t viewing tower normally at early I just flew off but <clears throat> this is the actual way I made a little coaster it takes you onto the actual track that will bring you right back over there but I'm not gonna stay in this let's see can't really think of anything else in here that I have to show you guys I think I've pretty much covered it all I do have underneath the castle there's a hidden door in here that I haven't showed anybody I'm not gonna show you guys either cuz uh there's a lot of hidden things I have in this map, in this castle, like door hidden switches that open doors that I would, <coughs> I would encourage my friends to come and play and try and find because it's always amusing. If anyone watches this video and you guys want to come try the maze or if you guys want to come check it out and see if you can find any of the hidden doors, which I mean, there's a couple on this level I won't get into the detail, but you know, check out the pictures and stuff. So if you guys want to do, if you do want to come and try and solve the mysteries of my castle, uh, just message me, just message us on High Society Gaming's YouTube, or you can just message me on uh, Xbox at Volatile Izzy. Um, other than that, guys, I think I pretty much covered everything in the video. Uh, there's not much else that I haven't covered. Um, I, I am. Wor oh yeah, I can cover. I can tell you guys that I'm working on a. Uh, skyscraper it's 96 blocks tall because that's the maximum it would let me it wouldn't let me go any higher than that it's by i think 30 it's 90 by 30 it's gonna be pretty cool i've been working on that but i'm not anywhere close to finished so if you guys like this i mean taking the fact that it is my first it is my first giant build it's my first major the major attempt at Minecraft that I've really come across 
So if you guys want to see the skyscraper, you know, just just leave a comment and let me know if you like this as a first project and think I have potential in building some cool things. So I, I mean, I th I like to think I do. I mean, like I said, this is the first thing. I'm not gonna make many videos if people don't like it, but if you do, let me know because I have been getting better. I have other maps I could show you guys. I guess I'd call the maps other creations that I could do like uh, I have another castle I built it's not nearly as big but it's a lot more fancy and nice and it's not as scrubbish as this one as you can see right here with this train with the uh, coaster track I have a redstone torch next to each uh, each of those rails I know I know I could fix that now that I've gotten better I decided to do the vid a video on this at since it is my first project and really and I just wanted to get feedback from subs or anybody that sees this video on what you guys really think so really that's ev that's everything guys so you know leave a comment you know rate subscribe let me know what you think of uh of my enormous castle and until next time guys this has been izzy from high society gaming and peace